Good evening. This is Larry Bodine, Editor-in-Chief of Lawyers.com. It's Christmas Eve, and tonight we're at an undisclosed location, a very cold undisclosed location. And we're going to bring you, for the very first time, an interview with a lawyer for Santa Claus himself, Mr. Felix Navidad. Mr. Navidad, how did you come to represent jolly old Saint Nick? He had updated his status on Facebook to say he needed an attorney. I messaged him that uh, I was available. Before I know it, we were texting back and forth. And I've been representing him internationally ever since, always on a pro bono basis. As you can imagine, it's a great honor for me. Oh, uh, excuse me, uh, I'm going to have to take this one. Hey, Nick! Nick, how are you on this, uh, well, your night? <laughs> you're, you're in Sierra Blanca, Texas? Well, why were you flying so low that, that you were stopped by Border Patrol? Fun? Look, you know that's where they busted Willie Nelson, right? Uh, you, weren't, you weren't holding, were you? Good. Because it's, uh, it's only legal in Colorado and Washington, you know, so... Okay. Oh, speeding? Ah, no problem. Look, I know the entire Texas Supreme Court. All I gotta do is make a few phone calls, okay? We're covered. All right, just sit tight. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, a few minutes. Larry, Larry, Larry. <clears throat> so, uh, Mr. Navidad, what sort of legal matters do you handle for Chris Kringle? Well, obviously, he's got a lot of offers for endorsement deals. Uh, like this one we're working on. The Lazy Boy Brutus Recliner. 46 inches wide, holds 400 pounds. <laughs> this is a big deal. Mr. Navidad, I just got a call about this. I think you better take a look. Oh, no. Not Area 51 again. <sighs> okay, this is here. You see, it used to be that you'd call the top guy at the Stardust in Vegas and he'd take care of it, but not anymore. Um, okay, here's what you need to do, Noel. Go down the hall, talk to Bernie. Tell him to call our contact at the FAA. Remind him that it's Christmas Eve, okay? Santa's gonna fly over Area 51 like he does every year. Just remind him that Santa's not a UFO, okay? Yes, sir, I'll talk to Bernie right now. Great, thanks, Noel. Uh, where were we? We were uh, talking about what kind of work you do for Santa Claus. Well, uh, right now we've got this uh, labor action. What? Uh, we negotiated pretty much everything, but we just can't come to an agreement on the shoes. The shoes? Yeah, the shoes, you know, the, the curly little elf shoes. Apparently, they're not good enough for the elves. We want the real thing. We are tired of these overseas knockoffs. The label even says, made in Indonesia. Ugh! Hey, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout either. Okay, so, you know, believe it or not, we actually get a lot of return gifts, too. <laughs> Legally, they can assert that the product is not fit for the purpose intended under the Uniform Commercial Code. But, actually it's just a, a crummy gift. Mr. Navidad, it's Mr. Claus, holy sleigh bells, it's urgent. Nick, Nick, what's up? Yeah, not a creature was stirring. Children were nestled all snug in their beds. Yeah, out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. What? He pointed a what at you? Okay, okay, don't move, don't move. Just, uh, just do the, the ho, ho, ho bit, okay? Just pass out a few presents. Uh, reach into your bag slowly, no quick movements. I'll be there in a, a twinkling. Noel, I need a sleigh. Uh, it's Santa Claus 2, double reindeer, now. What is the matter? He went down a chimney. But, but so what? He's in Florida. What's the matter with that? Have you ever heard of the stand your ground law? 